Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this unicorn pen DIY. For this one, we're gonna be starting with this kind of pen. I don't really know how to call this thing, so just push and you can write then. But you know, it's this kind of pens, and all I need is the ink part. So I'm just gonna remove that part from the bottom by just untwisting it. And yeah, I'm just going to then uh, take it out like that. If you're using this kind of pens, it's related to this part. We're just going to keep that part. And then we're going to be using air dry clay. And I've been using this kind of clay, this brand. I bought it at Michael's. I'm running out of this and pretty soon going to be moving to another brand. Yeah, back to the pen. I'm just going to be cutting the excess because I want this part to be a, a bit shorter for my pen. With my clay, I'm just going to be uh, cutting this in three equal parts, as equal as I can make them to be. And I'm just going to be rolling this into really tiny sausages. Once I have done that, once I have three of them, it's really easy to make, but just work with water because this kind of clay dries with air, which means that every second that is exposed to the air is going to be harder to work with. To make it sticky, you just have to add some water on it, and that's what the green ball is doing there. And yeah, I'm just going to be putting this tree with some water in there and putting my ink part or the pen on the middle part. And yeah, I'm just going to be twisting this like that until I, it looks kind of like a unicorn horn. Keep in mind that unicorn horns, the bottom part is a lot thicker than the top part. But because this is a pen and I'm going to be actually uh, using it to write, I can't make the bottom part super thick because then it's going to be really awkward for me to, you know, to handle this. So I'm just going to go with this. But then I'm just going to be uh, then adjusting this. I don't want my pen to be super long because after all, I'm just going to be using it and I don't want it to be long or heavy. And I'm just going to be removing the excess, comparing it to another pen that I have until I have this. This looks fine to me. I can handle it. I'm just going to let it dry. So once it's dry, I'm going to be taking this acrylic gold paint in a, a brush and I'm just going to be covering this and I'm going to be giving this a couple of coats because I want to cover the gaps that this one has because it's made out of three pieces of clay and there is like there are gaps like here and there. Then I'm going to be taking this pink and white and I'm going to be creating a lighter a version of that pink because I think it looks cuter. And then once that's done I'm just going to be taking my pen and I'm just going to be, well, applying paint to like one of those things. And I'm just going to be rolling this and painting this as I go. I promise you it's not that hard. It's actually really easy. You just have to uh, keep on rolling the hand that is uh, holding the pen and the other one just keep on painting. And because this is acrylic paint, it's going to dry really fast. And then I'm going to be doing the same thing with my purple, like purple and white, mixing this together and just having a lighter version of that purple and then going and, you know, painting another line of those. And I gave this swirled lines uh, two coats as I went. And then as a final step, I just want it to be shiny and give it some sparkle, something extra. So I'm just going to be mixing my gold acrylic paint with some water and then I'm going to be using this sponge, round sponge. So I'm just going to be applying some paint to that. I'm just going to be removing the excess of paint and then I'm just going to be dapping that onto my pen. And I'm just going to be dapping that with one hand and with the other I'm just going to be moving this around. I don't want it to be like covered in this gold paint, I just want to have like this uh, shimmer that is giving it, really natural one. And it's going to look super cute. And yeah, this is the idea that I wanted to share. I wanted to make something unicorn inspired for a long time, but I couldn't think of anything because I feel like a lot of things are just uh, done already, but I wanted to make something that was cute, trendy and practical as well. Back to school season is coming and I thought, well, what better time to do something like this than back to school. Not only for people that is going back to school, but for anyone that needs a cute pen to write. It's really practical, it's not heavy at all, and I think it looks super cute. So hopefully you liked this as much as I did. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, it helps us a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff. I have a ton of DIYs already on my channel if you want to check them out. And don't forget to share this so more people can watch. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you on Saturday and take care. Bye guys!